What is the difference between a topper getting a double digit rank and a good student getting a top thousand rank? They have used the same resources. They have started preparing at the same time only because to get a in thousand rank also you should start preparing from the final year or third year itself. Given the same effort, same hard work and same effort they have given, but where lies the difference is that a topper does a planning and acts accordingly, does the smart work. See, as you can see in this image, the first person has gone ahead of the second person because he has done the planning and he has done the smart work. So hello everyone guys, I am Dr. Mayuk Hajra and I will discuss with you how to improve your rank and if you have prepared well, uh, these hacks will help you to get into the top 200 rank in INI set also. Some of the mistakes I also did due to which my rank uh, subsided to 600 compared to the NEET PG rank which was 29 because INI CT is a totally different game. I didn't realize that. But after giving the exam, I realized these facts. So listen to all the nine hacks and I assure you that this video would be very much beneficial for you just before the INI set. Now know how much you should attempt. This is not neat PG that you attempt almost every questions or you attempt 195 plus. This is a difficult questions. 10 to 20 questions would be like that. You can't even attempt. So target correct to get in top 100 or top 150 ranks is about 150 plus marks, uh, 150 plus corrects and the marks should be 140 plus about. The sweet spot of attempting is 185 to 192. Okay, this, this is the sweet spot, uh, 185 to 192 don't go too much aggressive or don't play too much defensive because see going too much aggressive this has one third negative points and the questions are difficult compared to the neat pg so don't go too much aggressive on this also and know which questions to leave like uh, this year and i said there was something called the bath syndrome so you should leave this kind of questions because you don't have any idea any faculty doesn't teach this or any books are not having this. Number two is the practicing the PYTs of INI set in depth. INI set specially focuses on certain topics in great depth. This was one of the mistakes that I did that you must be clear with recent FDA approved drugs. Go and watch the FDA site. Okay, I have done one video also. I am giving the link here and you can go and watch the recent approved FDA drugs and also go on the FDA site, search that uh, FDA approved drugs of 2024 and the site would open in Google Chrome itself and see the drugs and their uses. No need to understand the mechanism of action. Uh, it is not provided in the site also and it is not asked also. So go watch the FDA site, learn all the drugs just before the exam. Like in our year, it was trophantide. Tide was asked and I had no clue because I hadn't gone through the recent FDA approved drugs. Biostats is very much important in combat monoclonal antibodies, antibiotic resistance and molecular biology. These are very high yielding topics that are not much focused on NEAT. NEAT doesn't focus on these topics. Neuroanatomy is another thing, but INI set specifically focuses on these topics and don't ignore the short subjects, okay? Because short subjects would give you the chunk of marks. Short subjects equals to the power play. Short subjects are the power play of the INI set exam and the NEAT PG also. Because in power play, you are seeing in the IPL in six hours, 120 runs are coming. So in the power play, if you are not hitting, how you can expect a good rank. So you have to hit in the short subjects itself. 20th notebook. 
so this is another important thing that i missed so summarize all the volatile points that you have seen that uh, these are volatile and uh, keep it in a copy the 20th notebook and revise it every two to three days two to three days so that you memorize them and just before the exam also just before going into the exam you should revise the 20th notebook images always memorize the important images like in uh, our time the might was arcs orange here and i missed it i thought it to be the hard tick so you should memorize the images and i took the handwritten notes so i didn't have the images so if you are also not having the handwritten notes or if you are having the handwritten notes go through all the images that are important like the uh, immunofluorescence uh, images all the images you should be in your grasp after that is the avoidance of silly mistakes see silly mistakes if you do then your rank would shift 200 to 300 ranks at least it would shift i also did four to five silly mistakes and it led to a 200 to 300 rank shift focus so how to avoid the silly mistakes you have to focus completely during the exam there would be distractions some would go into the toilet some clicking sounds would come but you have to focus completely on the exam and keep at least 20 minutes in hand to revise at the end of the exam to revisit your answers so that you can recheck that whether you have done correctly or not time crunch in ini set there is a time crunch because in 180 minutes uh, 200 questions you have to attempt and the question stems are usually very long or multiple similar options like a b c d are given how many of them are correct a b a b c a b c d you know that a and b are correct but you don't know about the other options so if there are very long questions or if you are getting confused leave them for the end no mark for review because as you know according to the new rule that mark for review is not considered for evaluation so don't mark anything any answer for review later leave it empty because you may not have time to revisit and if you mark and leave it for review then it would not be considered for the evaluation guesswork guess only when you have ruled out two options not one option okay like need pg because here one third is negative and if you have ruled out two option try to make an educated guess uh, if you are not able to make an educated guess and completely confused between two options then the first intuition that is coming into your mind do mark it because uh, research has shown that the first intuition is correct seven out of ten times now the last point that has an important role is the luck 30 percent of your result depends on luck uh, i can't disagree with this that luck has the last love but also remember that fortune favors the brave so be brave be bold and don't fear your exams don't be over tensed and be a calm child during the exam and i am on instagram uh, dr mayu khajra you can go follow me there because i am posting some educational reels uh, facebook also i am there and in telegram also i give the these notes or some important stuff regarding MBBS or NEET PG in the telegram group also. So all the very best for your upcoming INICT exam and also your NEET PG.